How long have I been lying here? I got no idea. My throat is bone dry. It feels like tonsillitis I had as a kid. It's raw, it's grimy, it's clogged. My fingers touch my lips, which are dried up and bloodless. I stare up at the ceiling through my dry eyes, dry in their sockets like old horse chestnuts that have been stuck too long in their shells. Piss leaks from my penis. I feel its warm drops on the inside of my leg, and my ass is wet as well. It must be bleeding again. My head's real fuzzy. It's overwhelmed by all these violent changes in my body. It's like I'm a boxer, who having been caught by a big blow is desperately trying to stop himself from falling on the canvas. I know I spent my whole life priding myself on never going down. I can't stop myself from going down now. I'm falling. All I can friggin' do is watch. And that's what I'm doing right at this moment. I'm just watching myself fall. A whole room suddenly feels cold like New York in the winter. I shiver. Ajahn Dawn pulling the blanket out to my chin. But then it's clear that it isn't the room that's cold but me. I feel a chill on my hands and feet. And next in my limbs. And in my gut. And finally, in my heart. I breathe out. And imagine I'm lying on my back in the snow, frostbitten and frozen. There's no warmth left in my body. I suddenly got no idea where I am. My mind denying me all that I've known. Which bed am I in? Ask myself, which country? I don't know. My breathing is becoming very strained. I can feel the air in my mouth, but then it seems to escape or go nowhere. As if it just evaporate. I open my mouth like a fish and gulp and swallow trying to force it down into my lungs, but it won't go. Ain't got the will no more. I got the f- got no fight left in me. The fire's almost gone out. At last. Our breaths are getting longer. In breath shorter. <sighs> Senses are failing me. I sight going. The room becoming dark all the time, and as Andan is speaking to me, his lips moves in front of my face, but I can't hear him. My eyes roll upwards like they're trying to escape the tiny bit of daylight left in the room, until everything is just black. There's a blur of noises in my head, vices from the past, many of them angry and shouting for my forgiveness, shouting for more of my remorse and regret. I moan, and as I'm done, holds my hand, he holds it tight. He's still here. He's still with me. I'm not alone. Looks like I'm going to go out as I lived. A blaze. I wait for my next in-breath.